Collaboration Group. Welcome, PJ. Hi, Jill. Good to be here. Thank you for joining us. Um, PJ, lots of buzz in the industry about the Cisco Virtualization um, Experience Client, and we'd like to understand what that is and how does it differ from VXI. Great. Yeah, Virtualization Experience Client, or VXC, refers to a new set of clients, devices, a new set of endpoints that Cisco has introduced early this year for the desktop virtualization space. What it speaks to is, as we look at our VXI infrastructure, the story has been around an end-to-end -end solution. So everything from the data center, the borderless network, and now the desktop. That's where VXC comes in. VXC is that final pin that really helps complete the story for us. Excellent. So what Cisco Virtualization Experience Clients, VXC, I'm going to use that acronym going forward because it's a mouthful, what endpoints do we offer today? Today we offer the 2000 series. Those were introduced earlier this year, and they come in two flavors. We have the 2100, which is an integrated form factor, very unique to the industry. And what it does is that it plays in with our, 99, our IP phones, our 9971, 9951, and 8961 series IP phones, in that you can take the leg off the back of those phones, and you snap this VDI client in its place. Suddenly you now have a neat form factor that gives you an integrated voice, video, and VDI experience, all in one package. Additionally, we have the 2200 series, a more traditional form factor, a tower, mm -hmm. fairly thin, and it allows you to then place that behind a monitor, on a wall, under the desk, on the desk. Again, more traditional uh, placements off your thin client. So really good where your space constraints, call center environments, etc. Absolutely. Um, do you want to make mention of where CS fits in? Great question. So CS is another extension of the VXC family in the portfolio in that while the 2000 series are more for desk-bound individuals, the CS gives you that uh, tie-in for your mobile works, workforce. So when somebody's on the move, he or she can still access their virtual machine with their CS, leveraging clients from Citrix, such as Citrix Receiver, from VMware with VMware View, and from WISE with WISE Pocket Cloud. That gives you that same seamless experience on a single device for your, again, your, your voice, your video, and your VDI. Excellent. So, why, do our, why is this important to our customers that Cisco offers VXC, um, Virtualization Experience Clients? Our customers are looking for Cisco to really help them solve this virtualization uh, shift end-to-end. -end. Again, from an infra infrastructure perspective, we've done that. We're addressing things in a data center with our UCS. We're addressing things in a borderless network with WAS and other solutions. Now at the desktop we have VXC. By giving them this end-to-end -end solution and the ability to go Cisco and Cisco, you add a whole new uh, level of uh, value propositions into the equation. Things like power over Ethernet and being able to leverage energy-wise. These new devices, these VXCs, give you access to that. They're both uh, POE enabled. Mm -hmm. So again, huge value prop for, for customers. The integration with our IP phones and our UC clients, again, huge value prop for customers. Excellent. So, um, I know you're out there speaking with our customers rather frequently. What are you hearing from them as far as other requirements for VXC going forward? VXC plays into that whole, um, that whole transition that's taking place at a workspace. Customers are rapidly um, refreshing their desktops at this point, you know, whether it be because of OS changes, uh, OPEX requirements, CAPEX requirements, they're going through that transition. With VXC, what we're able to do is help them along that path, giving them the end-to-end -end security, a huge uh, in point of interest for customers, uh, being able to uh, give them a new way to extend, again, their collaboration um, benefits around productivity and bridge that with the TCO benefits of VDI, bringing those two pieces together, traditionally been apart. These are some of the things that our customers really are looking for us to do and really see Cisco delivering for them. So that's excellent. So what I'm hearing is the major um, drivers and requirements from our customers are the security, this drive to productivity with collaboration, as well as the focus on TCO and leveraging their investments that they already have. Correct. I mean, those are probably the key points that I hear on a day-to-day -day basis from customers. It must be secure. We're known for that. Mm -hmm. We are enterprise grade through and through. We know how to deliver security. Deliver on us for TCO. Again, we're known for how 
delivering that value proposition through the infrastructure now through the, the endpoint clients. Uh, being able to address things like business resiliency. Yep. Uh, solving new problems that have plagued VDI. So new innovative design, new innovative uh, architectures to help solve problems such as how to deliver real-time interactive voice and video and bring that to the table. These are the things that our customers demand from us. These are the things that we deliver. Thank you very much for your time.